What is up, y'all? Welcome to video three. Oh, that <laughs> Cut. What is up, y'all? And welcome to video three. We are on location at my boy's shop, Vegas Customs. We got the 65 Mustang over here, brand new candy paint. We got the M5. You guys are not gonna believe how this thing comes out. But today, I'm gonna teach you how to program the FRM module so you can get the headlights working. If you guys watch the videos, if not, I'll put a link to the previous video of what we did. So let's just get started. up and shit on the video. Vegas costume. <laughs> I'm skinny. So luckily I can I can I can fit. Oh. Up, oh, got to turn all this power off cuz we're about to drain the battery down. Got to be hella careful with this. All right, so go ahead, plug in your cable. Make sure the button unclicked. You don't want it pressed in for the E92 and the E90 series. It's all unclicked. We're gonna plug this bad boy in the OBD part, put the key on, ignition, power on your ignition, don't start the car. So the first thing that we wanna do is we wanna click on IMPA. We're going to IMPA, we can see the cable is detected right here. We're gonna go to F3, we're gonna turn this down. Now we're gonna click up functional jobs, press OK, go to user information field. Which is F3. Which is F3. So now we got user information field. See, here is our FRM module. Here is our ZB number. And here you can see that it is not registered to the VIN. So that's what we're gonna change. Where do you see all that? Right here. And what exactly are you looking for? The FRM oh, module oh. right here. Oh, where it says FRM, the second one from the bottom, 72. Yeah, 72 right here. Oh, and and, no and the VIN the number, number, there's nothing, but it, but it has the programming because it's not completely programmed. So then what we're gonna go do is F2, identification. And then we're going to go to F4, which is errors. Now we're gonna go to F1, read error memory. So the first thing that we gotta do is, so see all these coded errors? These are all registered in the system right now. And so what you want to do is we're going to scroll down to our FRM module. And you can see the FRM module has nine air codes registered here. So what we're going to go is print. And we want to just put in, uh, let's see here, LAs, FRM, UIF codes recent and then we're going to save boom so now that we have it saved so we know what the previous error codes are plus f2 clear error memory now job status okay all the way across no errors so now we're going to go back we're going to go end and we're going to go end here's where it gets fun yes we want to quit we go to win FKP and then you go to comfort mode and you go to update ECU you scroll down to ECU you got to look for your uh, FRM module there it is FRM 2 that's the module we're putting in because that's the exact name so we press OK so see now it's loaded the files and now we have to enter the VIN on the car. That's it? 100%? Yes. WBA, W. Yeah, hit that sheet. Eight. And it's gonna ask you if you wanna uh, update the current ZB. We're gonna press yes. Now it's gonna begin the programming. User information field can be programmed one time. Press OK. It's not programmed yet. That's the, just the first part. Now it's programming. How long does this take, Maddie? Uh, just a couple minutes. So now we're just going to give it a second. It's going to say program completed. 
We got our flashing on the dashboard. Okay, programming okay. So there's the first part. We are good to go on here. Now we close out WinFKP. Now becomes the serious stuff here. So now we go to NCS Expert. We go to File. We go to Load Profile. We go to Manipulation. We go to Start. We go to Chassis. We choose E89 as our chassis. Then we're gonna choose our, our module, which to pull the previous information from, which is the cast module. So we're gonna press OK. Press OK for the cast. Now our VIN number is registered in here, and we're gonna press back, and we're gonna press process ECU. And now we're gonna go to NFRM. You gotta make sure that your module is the exact one that you're coding. And we're gonna press OK. Now we're gonna go to change job, and we're gonna go to FA right, and we're gonna press OK. And now we're going to execute job. Job active, job ended. All right, now we're gonna go to change job and we're gonna go to SG Coderin. And now we're gonna press okay. And we're gonna go to execute job. Coding active. Coding ended. The NFM, uh, the FRM module should be coded. So now we're just gonna close. Now we're gonna go back to IMPA. We're gonna go back to F3. We're gonna go back to functional jobs, F3. And look at what we got. FRM module has the VIN number right here and it's coded to April 19th right here. So the last thing that we wanna do is go over to F4 error. Again, F1, read error memory. And what we wanna do is go in here and scroll down to our FRM again. We have to clear all these errors because it threw up a bunch of them. See, now there's only two errors out, out of the eight that there was before. And now we're gonna go clear error memory and boom. Now we close out the system and the coding is done. Take the key out, turn it off, pull it out, put it back in, turn it back on and start the car. The car is coded. Initialize the windows to get the pinch feature working. So you hold it for 15 seconds, 14, 15, and then let go. Now bring it back up, 14, 15, let go, up. Woo! Yeah, boy. Yes, sir. So now we initialize the other side. Now open the door. All right, now shut the door. Yes, sir. All right, y'all. That is the end of the video. FRM is coded. My boy is happy. You guys can easily do this yourself. Just follow the steps. Shout out to Vegas Customs for letting us shoot in the shop. We got more stuff coming for them very, very soon. And make sure you subscribe. I love the family. Thank you guys for watching and have yourself a great day.